Welcome! In today's video training, we are going to cover how to bundle multiple PDFs into one PDF, as well as when you have multiple PDFs that are bundled together, how do you pull out pages and maybe add new ones? That's what we're going to talk about today. You should already have the Foxit Phantom PDF program on your computer. If not, please let us know. But that's the program that we're going to be using to show this demonstration. And when you are ready to open it up, you should see the main page that looks similar to this. What we're going to do, we're going to first go ahead and open an existing PDF. And this exact PDF has multiple pages within it. You can see over here in the left hand ribbon area it has a total of 42 pages. You can also find that down here below where it says one of 42. And you'll notice you'll be able to scroll through or advance to the next page should you need to. What we're going to do Let's say in your instance, you've got this large PDF, 42 pages, and you only need the first five pages. What we're going to do, we're going to get rid of the rest. So I'm going to click on this one. A couple ways you could do this. I want to show you the easiest. I'm going to go ahead, click on page number six. I'm going to right click, and I'm going to left click, delete pages. Now we know that we do have. 42 total pages. Since I'm wanting to get rid of the remainder of them, I'm going to go ahead and click at the end where the comma is at. I'm going to enter in a hyphen and I'm going to type in the number 42. What this will do, this is going to delete pages 6 through 42. It's going to delete even and odd pages. If you wanted to make a, an additional selection, you could make that. We're going to use even and odd. I'm going to click OK. It's going to give you a warning stating, do you want to delete these pages? The operation cannot be undone. We're going to go ahead and say yes. And now you can see here that it does have five pages total. And that's exactly what we wanted. So we're going to make sure of those pages over on the left hand side. Looks like we do have five total now and let's say we want to add your own PDF that you want to include in this maybe you're bundling a product or putting something together to be sent out to the district offices and you're needing specifics uh, that are not currently in this PDF all we have to do now is simply drag and drop that PDF that you are needing in there And you'll notice that I, as I did that, it actually did not work as planned. So I'm going to try it one more time. I think this actually has to do with the mouse that I'm using. Now I clicked and am dragging and holding the file and my left mouse button. And you can see that it has a little blue bar here. You want to make sure that that is prevalent otherwise it will do exactly what it did just a second ago it's kind of glad that that happened however now that the blue line is there it's going to insert it directly after page one based on where I held it now you can of course rearrange these by clicking and dragging it down to the next area so if we wanted to move this page down to the following page left click drag and hold and then release your button and that will take you down to that following page take it up underneath page one so we do have page number one page number two and now we do have a total of six pages in this entire bundled PDF next all we have to do Let's go ahead and do a file and save. And we will just call this test 01. 
And let's go, we're gonna make sure that this is exactly what we wanted. I'm gonna make sure that all the pages are available. And I'm gonna use the Adobe Acrobat Reader to verify this. So we have our page number one. Click to page number two. That was the one that we inserted. Page three, four, five, and six. Total of six pages. Looks like everything's good. And we do have a new compiled PDF specific to the needs that we need to send out. Well, thank you very much. If you happen to have any questions, please let us know. But this video was how to bundle multiple PDFs into one PDF.